たください。八幡さんに白のだね。マダイナラジでダブル。マダイナラジで八幡さん。ファンの方が皆さんまたに。We're in Tokyo, Japan. The food culture here is incredible, and we can't wait to film a ton of food videos. Let's get food hunting. Tokyo. If you love to eat, that word alone is enough to get you excited. We're taking you to some popular local spots for some mouth-watering food: golden fried pork cutlets, thick, spicy Japanese curry, and delicious conveyor belt sushi. You don't want to miss this video. Get ready for some amazing food. I'm Thomas, and I'm Sheena, and we're chasing a plate. We hope you're hungry. Let's eat. Our first stop is for a meal that we both love to eat when we're in Japan, and that's tonkatsu. Tonkatsu are crumbed and deep-fried pork cutlets, and this restaurant behind me that we're going to eat at has been awarded a Michelin Bib Gourmand awards two years in a row. So we can't all wait to try their version. ありがとうございます。ありがとう。We have got our tonkatsu in front of us, and holy moly, these meals just look insane. So I ordered the rosu katsu set. So this is the pork loin cutlet. There's a pile of shredded cabbage on top, and my set comes with、uh, a bowl of rice and also miso soup. Thomas has got got the kare katsu, so a pork loin cutlet, and then rice, some pickles, a soft boiled egg or half a soft boiled egg, and then this huge pile of curry sauce, and his comes with miso soup as well. Look at this curry! So it's full of、um, minced pork, has a beautiful, very thin skin forming on it. And this beautiful Japanese-style rice, so kind of a, a little bit sticky, holds together really well. I want to try the rice and the curry first. Oh wow! Oh my god! That curry's got a beautiful thickness to it. Oh man, that is good. But we're gonna go into this pork as well. And look at that crumb on there. It is ridiculously crispy. I'll grab this middle bit. Look at that! Dunk it in the curry. Wow! 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 That is so good. The pork itself is super soft and easy to eat. A little bit juicy. It's. Perfectly cooked, and the crumb is super dry and the lightest crumb I've ever tasted. It sort of just dissolves as it crunches. Oh god, that is good. I want to just grab some cabbage from under there. It's beautifully fresh, very thinly cut cabbage. I'm gonna swipe that through the curry as well.、Mm. That adds a true crunch to the dish, and obviously a real freshness. But this is unreal. Let's get a piece of this pork with the crumb. We'll get some of these pickles. Put them on the top. Obviously some rice. Put that all together, and I'll break this egg in half. Let's just get half that egg in there at the same time. Oh my god! Wow! Wow! The pickle just added a tiny, tiny little twang. I couldn't really taste it in that. That might be better as sort of between mouthful bites. Hmm. That's really mildly pickled, so it's just really crunchy. It's quite good to freshen up the mouth. This is absolutely unreal. It was torture filming Thomas and having the tonkatsu's smell like wafting up into my nostrils. I've got to get in. So my tonkatsu comes with a slice of lemon, so I'm just gonna、um, drizzle that all over the pork cutlet. And then I've also got a splodge of mustard here. Let's just try this middle piece of tonkatsu. Oh my gosh! Check out that meat. It's just still slightly. Pale pink, and there's all this juice oozing out of it. I just want to try it naked with nothing on it. Mmm. Oh my 
god, that is insane. The meat is really juicy. And the crumb, like Thomas said, is so light. It almost just dissolves in your mouth as you crunch through. You've got that first, um, you get that first bite of crispiness of that crumb. And then that meat is insane. It's so juicy. And it's got a ton of flavour. And this restaurant uses pork which comes from Okinawa. So that's what they're famous for. Oh, I'm going to get actually some of the sauce which is on the table. This tonkatsu sauce and drizzle it over this piece. Alright, let's see what that tastes like. Mm. 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 That adds another dimension. It's quite sweet, quite savoury. It tastes like a mix of um, ketchup and barbecue sauce and Worcester sauce. And that adds a real tanginess to the meat. I love the presentation of Japanese food. So the tonkatsu is sitting on this tiny little wire rack and then this pile of um, flesh-shredded cabbage. Just, it just looks so simple and beautiful. It's so appealing to eat. I'm going to get another piece of this pork, give it a dab in that mustard. Mm, hold it up with some cabbage. Mm. And then some rice. <laughs> mm. 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 Oh man, that's just so good. The hot, slightly starchy rice, that really fresh cabbage, that really just is the perfect accompaniment because it just takes away any greasiness there might be or oiliness from the uh, crumb from that tonkatsu and then that meat is so juicy that mustard is quite spicy actually and it added just a really great sort of kick of spice that is so good I spotted everyone pouring some white sauce onto their cabbage so I asked uh, the waiter for some and I'm gonna do exactly the same and then give that a taste <laughs> This meal is just so exciting to eat. Mm. It's like a creamy ranch dressing. Oh, this is this is heaven on a plate. Mm, mm, mm. That was wow. spectacular. I don't think I've eaten pork that juicy before. It was <laughs> amazing. It blew my mind. So delicate. Mm. Such a simple meal, but flavor explosion. Am I the curry in my one? I think it has Szechuan pepper in because as I went on and particularly right at the end I started getting a quite a numb tongue. Oh, oh. everything about that was spectacular. Mm -hmm. I would eat that again in a heartbeat. Next up for this video, we are going to eat sushi at a sushi train restaurant. Now there are thousands of conveyor belt sushi restaurants in Tokyo, but we chose this one, Hanamaru, because it's affordable. It's supposed to be really excellent um, fresh fish because we have heard that the Hanamaru buyers are so uh, well respected in the sushi industry that they get special access to really good fish in Sekiji fish market. So we are so excited to get our fill of sushi. <laughs> This place is great. It's on the 10th floor of the Tokyo Tower. And so there's this amazing view of the city, or of Ginza, which is the suburb that we're in. Um, and there is so much delicious looking sushi going past on the train, or on the conveyor belt. Um, and what's really cool at sushi restaurants is we're sitting at, the, at a table or a booth, as opposed to at the sushi bar. Um, but there's a hot water tap here, and they've also got mugs going past. So I'm just going to grab a mug and then um, there's matcha powder or green tea powder um, on the table so you just fix, you, fix yourself a uh, mug of green tea to start off with and then you can just start uh, loading up your table with sushi that's going past as well as uh, putting in an order from the sushi chefs if it's not on the conveyor belt. Sumimasen! Oh, yeah. 
we have got our first round of sushi and oh my gosh this stuff looks fresh so let me talk you through what we've got we're starting with um, the minced fatty tuna with a bit of spring onion some inari so that's rice with uh, bean curd sheets um, wrapped around it at the front here's a uh, minced fatty salmon with a raw quail egg that looks incredible some salmon which has been seared so aburi salmon tuna um, this amazing looking grilled eel with that beautiful sauce based on the top this is a raw squid and it's served with a spicy uh, cod roe and then fresh salmon and then finally some rolls with uh, wasabi leaf I believe this is super exciting I'm gonna start with this um, quail egg one so the minced tuna and that raw quail egg yolk in there so I'm just gonna dab a very small bit of soy sauce on there and of course one mouthful mm. Mm. wow mm. oh that's so good the salmon on one side of my mouth and the egg yolk on the other so they have completely different textures and then they popped and molded together and it made the the salmon that minced up salmon super super creamy as the egg yolk all mixed in with it and there's some spring onions on there so add a little bit of crunch from the fresh spring onions and the rice is very very delicate that is a good first mouthful here grab a bit of ginger so that just cleanses the palate Mm. Ooh, really nice and sharp so it's pickled ginger so crunchy really tangy oh and a nice gingery spice going on now i gotta have my favorite that's eel i love anything eel and this is a roasted eel with the beautiful sticky sauce on top let's get that so i'm not going to add any soy or anything to this one straight on it mm. Oh. oh that fills me with joy that is so good the sauce on top is a little bit sticky a little bit sweet the eel itself perfectly cooked still a little bit warm from being roasted but just a fraction very soft meat i love the texture of eel and that is perfectly cooked there's no sliminess in the in the fats that are in there it's all just perfect another awesome plate so that with these plates it's all color coded so you can see some are green some are blue and they all have different values so at the end of the meal they just charge you based on what amount of what color plate you've got it's super simple ingenious This here is the fresh squid with the spicy uh, marinated cod roe. So I'm gonna get one of these. Oh, I might just uh, pop a little bit of soy sauce on there. So I'm just gonna dab it lightly on the top. All right, one bite. That was so good. The raw squid is really tender. It's super creamy. The marinated cod roe, you can't really taste very strong. It's just like the faintest um, hint of flavor there. But that, oh, that squid, it is delicious. It is so tender and creamy. All right, next up, the minced fatty tuna with the spring onion. Oh, it's gonna topple over. All right, let's get a bit of that soy on there. Oh, the um, spring onions are sliced really, really fine, and that minced fatty tuna looks so good. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Whoa! Oh, the tuna is so flavoursome. It's really creamy really rich and almost just melts in your mouth and it's so fresh and then the spring onion it 
that gives it a fresh burst because it's got that slight sort of spiciness. Oh, that's delicious. And the rice is really beautiful. It's not all clumpy and sticky. It's just the perfect consistency. I'm really intrigued by these wasabi leaf rolls. So they've got, it looks like a pickled wasabi leaf in there. I've only, I have eaten raw wasabi leaf, like fresh wasabi leaf straight off the plant before and it was beautiful and tangy. I'm really interested to try these. Just gonna give it a quick little dunk in the soy sauce. Just a small coating. Mm. Mm. That is beautiful. So the leaf is much more mild than the root. So wasabi is the root of this plant, the, the very hot wasabi that we're used to. And this is just a very mild version of wasabi. It's beautiful. It's got just enough tang to, to really feel it on your tongue and on the sides of your mouth. But it doesn't go up your nose like a, like a big splodge of um, wasabi root does. That's really nice too. I can't not get into this piece of salmon. So it's just a raw piece of salmon, but it's being blowtorched um, on top. So it's slightly cooked on top. A cheeky little dip in that soy. It's got a sauce on top, like a sweet soy. A thick sauce is being brushed over the top, so it doesn't need much soy. Mm. Seriously. Wow. Another incredible mouthful. Everything I've had has been unreal. This, this is amazing. Amazing. I, I'm loving it. There's so much cruising past on the conveyor belt. We can order more sushi straight from the chefs. We're definitely going to be, we're going to easily walk down these plates and we're going to get another round of plates. This is a very good meal. Our stack of the plates is growing and we've ordered a second round. So we have got a sweet prawn. This is a grilled vinegar mackerel. Um, we've got some raw squid here. Raw salmon again. The eel we just had to order another plate because it is insanely delicious. And then this is a boiled conga eel roll with cucumber. But we're just going to get into it because there's only so many. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. We can say about this meal. The fish is so fresh. The flavors are just so on point, and this is such a memorable experience, especially being this high up over the city. Two incredible meals here in Tokyo. I would eat both of those right now again. <laughs> they were amazing. Highly, highly recommended. Yep. Remember to hit that subscribe button. We've got a ton more. Uh, videos coming from Tokyo and then after Tokyo we head to Indonesia so lots more food content to come. Remember to give this video a huge thumbs up, pop a comment down below, we love to hear from you and if you want to support more Chasing Your Plate content, more food content like this, check out our Patreon page. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Matane! Matane!